Oh, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Falani. I uh, hope you had a great weekend. I'm taking that for granted. Well, um, over in Plateau State, over the weekend, uh, local, local council elections were held. It went well to the extent that there was no uh, robodinha, as they say. Um, but then again, the fact that um, I understand there are 17 local governments in, 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 uh, in Plateau, no less, and um, the ruling APC cleared all 17. So uh, I don't know. Can we still say uh, things are going well? But wait, wait a minute. Let me tell you who my guests are this morning. You got um, assistant editor of the Nation newspaper, Mr. Dari Odufuoko. Dari, as no always, no thank you very much yes. for coming on. And then Mr. Smart Uluwale Akwejoye. He's a political affairs analyst. Thank you very much, Smart, for coming on. Thank you for having me this morning. Our pleasure. Our pleasure. So as I was saying, uh, things, you know, they went well. No, no crisis, none of that. Um, but I, I... Well, as I was saying, APC, the ruling APC, cleared all 17 local governments. Uh, now, in, in a sense, we've sort of, sort of started to take this kind of a thing for, for, for normal. Um, but is it? Is it really? Um, how, how come not even any other party, not even one, not one? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> okay, t take it, Dari, uh, and then I'll uh, come to the political uh, affairs uh, analyst. While, while it is uh, all right, <laughs> to, wonder, <laughs> to wonder why one party will win uh, all, oh, all the, including the councillorships. Yes. <laughs> this report from Plateau shows that APC won all the chairmanship seats as well as the councillorship seats in all 17 mm -hmm. local government areas. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is in tune to wonder why that should happen. But, but specifically could, talking about Plateau State, yes. if you would consider the drums of war that uh, preceded this uh, last Saturday's election, we would just be happy that at least it went without any major crisis. Because APC is not the only party in the state. The State Electoral Commission has announced the APC won all the seats available. But PDP leaders in the state, led by former Governor Jonah Jang, now Senator, have been crying foul, telling whoever cares in listing that the elections were not free and fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The elections were marred by rigging, toggery, and what have you. That the figures were changed, that the results in no way represents the the wishes of the people these are the opinions exactly. of the opposition exactly because the, if the you state consider electoral, the state independent electoral commission said if you want all then the governor came out to say the election is a reflection of the acceptability of the ruling party the apc if you just oppose these two extreme positions mm -hmm. one would have thought that the state will the state will go up in flames again considering the things that happen. Don't forget, it is in this same plateau that killings and abductions and bombings happened two, three weeks to this same election. And some of the remote causes of these killings were traced to the forthcoming election day, which is this election. This that, one that has that just that been but successfully it, completed. Successfully in court. So <laughs> if it came, there were allegations and counter-allegations, yet... There were no killings and burnings. Then, I would say it's a good election. Okay. The opposition should brace up. If indeed they were rigged out, they should plan not to be out rigged next mm. time. Mm. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> politicians know how they do these things. <laughs> yeah, in, in fact, people are so <laughs> cynical that they, you, you hear a commentary along the lines of... Um, it depends on who outricks the other yes. in the sense that they've come to sort of accept uh, yes. uh, that look uh, rigging uh, how can i make this kind of a statement but you know what i'm saying uh, rigging is part of the nigerian electoral uh, system so according to on, the politicians according to the yes. politicians yes not according to empirical uh, uh, well, according to the politicians. Uh, but what would be your, you know, your, your thoughts, Dario, on this whole issue? Because when you look at it, uh, I, I'm reminded, we were, before coming on air, we were speaking about it. Uh, an election was held in Kaduna uh, local councils. And um, it, it didn't go the way this has gone 100%. In fact, the local council of the governor himself, um, he lost it. Remember? Uh, of course. He <laughs> lost it. 
And, and uh, he made a statement. Yes. He said the result of that local government is not a referendum on him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for having me. And again, it's good we are bringing this election, even though I don't see anything is going to change in the nearest future concerning local government election. It is sad. And that is, again, sometimes why, personally, I don't want any election conducted by the state government. Mm. If you look at, from since I know, there has never been any local government election that can be truly said to have stand the taste of what an election should be, except in Kaduna. And now, when you begin to look at it, when you begin to look at it, in the first place, the, the local government, what should even, the catalyst for development in any nation, or let's even narrow it down to Nigeria. The local government is the catalyst for development. So local government elections should be taken more seriously than even the presidential election. But are we taking it seriously? It is the local government that is the closest to you. That's right. Because the councillor perhaps lives in your area before he emerges as councillor. It is after he has emerged that he has collected salary after the first six months that you now see him relocating to Magodo <laughs> if he's in Lagos <laughs> or to Shangisha or wherever. Now, oh the local dear. government is the closest to you. Yes. So it is the local government, it is the councillor that should know what should they should do, what the people in that, the, the, there's what we call need assessment. It is the, look, it is the council that we do a need assessment of its word and table it before the council and say, this is what my people need. But do we really have that? Hmm. I don't even know my local government, my, 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 word, my, my word councillor, because prior before, the, before, prior before the councillorship election, it is this person, it is that person. At the end of the day, ACME came out and said, this is the list of who has won in your area. So do you, can, you, can, you, can you fault it? And, and, that, and, and, and that's a situation that is not quite the same when it comes to the um, reps, elects, election, no. senatorial election, you tend to so, do that. But people so, have sort see, of downgraded if people talk today, the election of a local if we talk today about If we talk about today, that governance, whatever, as far as I'm concerned, Erufai might not be a politician, might not be a politician, but he's a good administrator. It's a, it's a technocrat okay. in politics. Referring but, but to the, 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 the election the Kaduna, in, Kaduna, in Kaduna, where he lost, where he lost. And, and it was no big no. deal. It, was, it wasn't about me. At, at all. Tell me, apart from El Rufai today, who again would lost a local government election in his own world, in his own, in his own local government? And we'll let it be. And we'll let it be. Okay, you know, we, we have a report on that election. We'll come back and talk a bit more about it, uh, talking about the Plateau Local Council uh, local government elections. Total. The ruling party retained its total success in elections in recent times after managing to wrest powers from the main opposition. The People's Democratic Party was stopped from participating in the October 9 council elections in the state. The ruling party succeeded in two legal battles with the PDP to stop the election from holding. An appeal was filed by the PDP at the Justice Division of the Appeal Court to restrain the October polls from being conducted. The court again dismissed the appeal in favor of the APC-led government of Simon Lalong on Friday, October 8, just a day to the election. The Plato State Independent Electoral Commission at the end of the Saturday exercise announced that the ruling All Progressives Congress Party had scored highest in the polls. The 17 uh, candidates elected as chairman of the respective local government councils and they are all of the APC. The party secretary in the state chatted with journalists on the results. The, the commissioner, already the chairman of Plastic, said uh, it was a smooth um, exercise, but as far as I'm concerned, I think it was not really a smooth one. We are happy now that it is all over, and I want to believe it's resolved finally, successfully, and irreversibly. We are through with the elections, then... Um, we are moving to the next level, so I think it's a wonderful development. The state government has announced that the swearing-in ceremony of the elected council chairman will take place on Monday, 11 October in the state. Funom Joshua, TVC News, Joss. Okay, and that sort of wraps that up nicely.